Uh oh. All right. To the manual brake. I, I got this old rod I took off of the. And the rod. Oh, you helping? Yes, a rod. I took off the old thunder cart out there. It was a brake line. All I did was just grind it down so it fit in the hole. Let's see if it fit in the hole. Got it. All right. Now it's going to do something like this. Okay. And then people are going to get mad at me. This will be my brake handle. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Huh? What I'm going to do is weld that yeah. head of that bolt okay. to the side of the frame. Daddy, mm -hmm. And then weld the nut onto the bike wrench. But it'll still spin freely on the bolt. So, knot it up somewhere like this. Load it up. Build a bracket for this rod. Act like a sleeve on the side. So, let's see what we can do. All right, I think that'll work. All right, let's see what we got, what I did. I took the pipe wrench, again, welded it to the bolt, onto the frame. Uh, welded a nut inside there, so it won't slip off or nothing. Okay, I got that rod going to there. And coming through, I made a bracket. This is the bracket right here, as you can see. Took that, went through the bracket I made, put carter keys on, or pins on both sides. That way, this won't slide back and forth, however far. All right, I did that. And for at least, at least to come back, I put a spring. I might change it up later, but this is the only spring that I felt comfortable that was strong enough to work. Cause I bought that whole box of springs and I didn't see nothing that I really, really trusted. So I got this in here for temporary, just how it is, but I mean, it works good. Let's, uh, let's crank it up and, uh, Give it some gas and let's see if it works. Then we'll do a little test run. It works. Uh, I might have to do some adjusting to the brake itself. I might have to tighten the bolt up on the back side, which is somewhat right there. So if you can see it kind of in that perimeter. Yeah. Going on the inside of that. See down there by the R. Tighten that up. And it'll make it a little tighter. That way, when I come forward, it'll really bring the brakes up. So, that is done. Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. I got some goodies today from Go Power Sports. A couple stickers and stuff. I got about, I said, why not? 
bought me a clear valve cover. So thank you, Go Power Sports, for that. Put this on, make it look a little better. And we'll go right it around. So after all that's done, getting all the tweaks to that checked out. Next, removing the old gas tank and putting on the new one. Gas and style. So everything seems to work out great. So what you think, Mamo? I'm gonna put this valve cover on. Yep. Let's do it. Man, would you look at that? That there. Being able to see it. Being clear, that is way cooler. Way cooler than the old stock one. I don't know why I even make these. I should make them all clear. Or a different color of tint. Come stock on the motor. That is just way cooler. Man. Let's go rip. think about it Mumu. hmm you like it yeah i know you do I'm about to build you a trailer call you behind on a trailer but overall man she rips man i like it i do a do gotta do a little adjusting to the brakes i figured that out but man that pipe wrench and the handle it's just amazing goes with the build you know a little rat rod wagon build but man i'm ready to bring it to car shows see what people think about it ready to get everybody else's opinions on it and and future builds you know this is the start first one i built like this but i'm ready to build more i hope y'all enjoyed this little short video of what we did with the brake system so Still got some fear gonna do, little tweaks here and there. But overall, she looks good. Be sure to tune in to the next video. See what we got in stores next.